And though, yeah, the Death Note dub, people have complained about it when there really is, sh there should never be any complaints. Was that Viz? Yeah, and it, but it was dubbed in the same way as Rama 1 happened in New Yasha. It, it got oh. like a, it was dubbed in Canada. Now those both have pretty good dubs. Even Yasha is an annoying show, but it has a decent cast of voice actors. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah, and I, Kate. And Kate Higgins does a pretty good soccer. And not to mention, Kate Higgins is a professional singer. I know oh, that. really? I didn't know. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I heard yeah, her. Just look, up some any, just look up any videos on YouTube and you'll see her singing talents. Yeah, I actually saw her. Uh, I actually heard one of her songs. She's pretty good. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Kaleen O. Chaganasi, who does Eno and Naruto, was the same female voice actress who did Sora in Digimon Season 1. Even though Digimon got a crappy dub. From Saban, but... But it was God compared to 4 Kids 1 Piece. Anything is better yeah. than 4 Kids 1 Piece. You wanna know what I always thought was creepy? What? The person who voices Tai in the American dub of Digimon... ...voices Tetsuo in Akira. And, and the guy who voiced Davis in Digimon Season 2 did rock his voice. Yeah, I guess he went from the jump to Seba yeah. onto Viz. <laughs> That's a big jump. Yeah. It is. Oh, oh yeah, and, uh, Ty's, Ty's English voice actor from Digimon was... Uh... <coughs> Hello? Jo Joshua yeah. Seth, Hello? yeah, that's, that's the guy. And yeah, yeah, Joshua Seth, the guy who did Ty, also did Shobu, the main character in Duel Masters, that Yu-Gi-Oh ripoff. I hate Duel Masters. Yeah, but, but it was a hell of a lot better than Bakugan, because it made fun of itself. Yeah, true. Bakugan's just crap. Oh, Bakugan stinks. If Dan um, Green worked for Funimation, I would be the happiest human being in the world. Yeah, you should yeah. ditch four kids. In a, in matter of fact, speaking of which, a lot of four kids voice actors vo worked for other dubby companies, such as there was there was a Yu Yu Hawkins show movie two that was dubbed by Central Medea Park, which used four kids voice actors, and it had Veronica Taylor as Botan in there. Veronica Taylor wasn't she Satoshi in the Pokemon dub? Yeah. She currently does Max in Dinosaur King. Now, <laughs> now I actually decided to watch the uh, Code Geass, but just one time. I never really watched that show, but Johnny Young Bosch is awesome in that series. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, they are talented. Um. Western voice actors in America, yeah. not just Japan, like a lot of weeaboos think. Yep. And, and do us a favor, Veronica Taylor, never ever do Nika Robbins voice ever again. You suck at Please. Me. Yeah. You suck at Please. Satoshi's. Hello there, yeah. Tweety Bird, that crocodile Santa. I wonder why Robin had to sound like a hick when she was, she uh, grew up on an island. And, uh, and, and don't then, forget Eric Stewart, another awesome four kids voice actor. Yep. Who's Hell, Eric Stewart? It is Seto Kaiba. Screw the oh, that guy. I have money. Yep. And uh, oh, the thing I gotta say though, some Rama fans might hate me for this, but I actually enjoyed Richard Cox as Ranma. <laughs> yeah. I halfway agree. Yeah, he did voice a Rama in the later seasons of Rama. Yep. I mean, he wasn't that good at first, but he was still okay. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and this was the same guy who did, uh... Inuyasha. Inuyasha. Oh, it, but yeah, actually I was thinking of another character. He did Big the Cloud. voice of uh, a bit, bit yeah, a bit Cloud in Zoid's New Century Zero. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember Zoid's. <laughs> I thought it was epic. Yeah, it was awesome. <sighs> oh. 
And yeah, <laughs> and the only complaint I had about the Buso record dub was Tokiko's voice. I mean, she's supposed to be a, in her late teens, but the voice actress made her sound like a four-year-old woman. Uh -huh. I, I agree. I, I'm like, why did they choose her to be Tokiko? Why? It should have been Michelle Ruff. Yep. But the rest of the cast is fine. I lo I loved uh, Pizza Guy's English voice actor. I keep forgetting his name, but I know his name is Steve. But I forget his his last name. But he he is great as Kazuki. I mean, the only two bad biz dubs I can think of are the English dub version of Zatch Bell and Mega Man NT Warrior. That's about uh, it. Blue Dragon, Don't ever get me started on Mega Man NT Warrior. Oh, and Blue Dragon was pretty bad, too. Yeah, that sucked. But other than that, most of his dubs are pretty good. And oh, yeah, there was another anime I remember seeing called Flame Eureka, which was. Was a, which reminded me a lot of Yu Yu Hawkins show. Hmm. Should check that out sometime. And yeah, not many people have heard of this anime, but it's pretty good. Or well, at least the manga version. Uh, the anime version seemed kind of rushed, but it was an okay anime. Yep. Now the thing I, the thing. What do you guys think of the Sayu voices? They're good, but they're overrated. Yeah, I'm not you think too not familiar that great? with them. I mean, they're they're cool, but I'm not too familiar with a lot of Japanese Sayus, so I can't give my opinions I've, on them. But uh, there's one thing I gotta say is the Japanese song of Ruhai Suzumiya is pretty good. My favorite Japanese voice actor would have to be Kepi Yamaguchi, who is famous for Rama, Inuyasha, yeah. Shell, and Usopp. And Usopp. Usopp. He is awesome. I'm Captain Usopp of the Veggie Pirate. Love Usopp. Griffin. <laughs> Love Usopp. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, yeah, he also did Light Yagami in Death Note. No, he didn't. He, mm -hmm. he did L. Oh. That's, oh, that's yeah. But I gotta say, though, the... The English voices on, in Death Note are pretty underrated. People are, like, saying they don't fit. I'm sorry, but I think they fit just fine. Yeah, I agree, yeah, too. I agree too. I've seen it, too. They're not, it's, they're not that bad. And, uh, Light was voiced by the same guy who did Moose in the Ranma dub, and... Really, he, he can really sound good as a bastard that you'd love to hate. Mm-hmm. And, and let's not forgive, forget about Cowboy Bebop. That was another excellent anime series. dub. <laughs> and yeah. Yep. yeah Steven J. Blum. Steven Blum. The voice of Tom. From Tom, who's the host of Toonami. He... Yep. And, and Wendy Lee, who did the voice of Faye Valentine. Yeah, she... Wendy Lee is in everything. Yeah, she, uh... yeah, she also did the she also did the voice of Black Rose in the Dark Hat <laughs> some games. Steven Blum is pretty overrated, too, but... He is an excellent voice actor. Yeah. 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 I mean, when I heard Bleach was coming to America, when I first heard that, I was going crazy as if a fangirl had just met Vic Mignogna for the first time. That's how excited <laughs> I was. <laughs> And, and yeah, and Dan, and Dan Green did a, a good job on Yami Yugi's voice. I he mean, did. But, but I don't think he should have done Knuckles. No. He makes Knuckles sound too cosmic. Baby. No, he's not his Knuckles. Not, not, he's a really, he was a bad choice for Knuckles. But I gotta say, though. He just needs to go to Funimation. He'd get some of his best roles if he was yeah. there. I mean, even though Dan Green was pretty good, the Yu-Gi-Oh dub still sucks. But that's because it's poor. Oh, I can't stand you, you know. That's because it's poor, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, watch the Japanese versions. 